Hey guys, it's Kim, Angie Dream Crafts, and I'm back with my next design team project for Craft Supplies for You. This time I have altered a box, and the box itself is wooden, and it's just a dollar store box, a simple wooden dollar store box that I've had in my stash for quite a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I needed something to store some of my charms and things in that I could set up my craft room that looked pretty, but was was easily accessible to get my charms out of so I decided to do the box and what really um, inspired me about this box was the piece on top and I did show this in my design team package this metal piece on top here that I got in my DT kit and I'm gonna put a photo of what this originally looked like um, right here for you So that's what this piece originally looked like. And um, what I did to it was I painted it with some Prima Art Alchemy Silver. And my husband took the gem out of the middle for me. He popped it out so I could put this image of this lovely vintage lady here. And uh, I just kind of kept going over it and over it. And I added a bit of rose gold on top of it just to sort of pick up the um the cracks and things like that in the piece and then i added some rhinestone trim which julie is going to be carrying in her store very shortly and i added this piece of pearl and rhinestone bling to the top so that's how i altered that piece and it's it's beautiful because you know i didn't know what i could do with it when i got it but I found out I can alter it, so I was really excited about that. So you can see there's quite a difference between um, the original piece and this piece. So as for the rest of the box, I used more of my Prima paints on the box. And um, I used the Violet Gold uh, Prima Art Alchemy paint to paint the box. And I painted the whole thing, top and bottom, as you can see there. And I love it. It's just got this beautiful shimmer of gold over top of the violet tones. I just love the, uh, the Prima paints. And then um, for the lid, I finished off this piece here and I put one of Julie's beautiful doilies behind it from her doily pack. And all of the flowers here are from Julie's store as well. I got it in my DT kit. I love these little guys here. They remind me of Stephanotis, which is a wedding flower and these beautiful pearl sprayed flowers. And then here on the corner, I have just added um, a little flower from my stash. And I've gone all the way around with the beautiful rhinestone trim. And this trim here is actually from my stash, but it had this iridescent look to it. So I thought it would be perfect for that. And then here you can see I've created dangles with these beautiful pearls. Um, I love, love, love these pearls. Julie carries them in her store. And you can see how beautiful they are. Let me get the bag open here. I can never get these bags open. Yep, really? <laughs> okay, there we go. So you can see here how beautiful these are. They're nice and big. They're lovely, lovely beads. Um, and they're glass, I believe. Yeah, they're glass. I'm pretty sure. I think. Not sure. But anyway, I created these two um, dangles here. And I added um, a little Eiffel Tower charm here. To the side. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. I added a little Eiffel Tower charm right there that I got in my DT kit and some bead caps and a couple of other small pearls just to create this dangle going down the side. I just thought that looked so pretty. So that's what I did to the lid. And then on the bottom of the box, I'm just going to flip it up for you. I have used these beautiful resin roses for the feet of the box. 
and these are new in Jubilee store and I just absolutely love them and they work perfect as feet on the bottom of the box I was amazed that uh, and they're nice and sturdy the box doesn't wobble or anything so and then on the base here I've used um, this beautiful trim from Julie's store and I just gathered it with a needle and thread and went all the way around the box and then I used this trim which is uh, one of Julie's gorgeous um, lace gathered trims in her shop and then this trim I just adore it is one of my favorites it's got sequins and little seed beads in it it's really a pretty pretty trim and it this the uh, sequins are iridescent so you can sort of see a violet gold in it and so it matched perfectly with the color of the box that I had painted so anyway that is my next DT project for craft supplies for you so please stay tuned for photos and if you have any questions or anything please do ask and don't forget I have my doily challenge going on right now and there'll be a link to that video at the end of this one thanks everybody talk to you later bye for now